you ever been to a place that doesn't really feel like work when you work? Like you're just kind of hanging out with people? So that's, that's kind of what this felt for me. Because I didn't really go to college. I, w I was in college for a little bit, but I wasn't a part of like a fraternity or anything like that. Like I didn't dorm. I went to a local community college that everybody hated, and it was high school part two. So since I've come back, I've I've come to the every new hire class, and I've talked. Um, I try to have different talks on a couple of different things, and one thing that was common among the mentors telling us. So the people who are training you, one thing that they've noticed is a big thing is fear. That when you're brand new starting something, you're kind of nervous about, right? Like this is, this is a big thing. This isn't just a job change. This could be a career change. You could have went from something where you were comfortable making a certain amount to now you're at 100% commission sales job. Is anybody afraid in the, it's okay if you are. Is anybody afraid in this room right now going from where you were to where you are? Raise your hand. Okay, so a few of you, that's okay. That is actually important because that means it's important to you. Because you want to do well, right? That's why, you're, that's why you're afraid. For those of you who aren't afraid, you may have done this before, right? One thing that I want to talk about is overcoming fear. So what is fear? Webster's definition is an unpleasant, often strong emotion caused by anticipation or awareness of danger. Anxious concern, profound reverence and awe, especially towards God, a reason for false alarm. Now fear comes in both rational and irrational thoughts. This being irrational fear. Irrational fear being clear and present danger. This is, this is clear and present danger. Irrational is more of you're worried about what someone else is gonna think of you. Public speaking is the number one fear amongst people throughout the world because you have all eyes on you. The reason why people are frightened is a mix of different things, but you guys all have certain fears about different things. Racism, sexism, death, God, poverty, heights, disease, joblessness, pain, emotional or physical pain, whatever that may be, loneliness, being criticized, public speaking, whatever it might be. So that's, that's what everybody is pretty much afraid of when it, when it comes down to certain things. So overcoming fear, why do you have a different fear? Because you're unsure. You're unsure of what's gonna happen. You're afraid of heights because maybe you've seen someone fall off something. Maybe you've had bad experience with it, with it before. I know my fear comes from when I was on like a 12 foot high fence and I had to jump down, everyone else was doing it and I missed and I got hurt. So now I associate heights with getting hurt. So I want you guys to think of something that you used to be afraid of that you no longer are. So I have another one that's not just heights. So I saw the original Jurassic Park when I was seven years old, and I had a recurring nightmare of being chased by raptors to a T-Rex. <laughs> so like imagine, everybody here has probably seen Jurassic Park. So imagine where the raptors are chasing the kids in that kitchen, and then like that happening, and then you run out and there's like the T-Rex out there, kind of how the ending of the movie is, where the T-Rex kills the raptors. So like that, but imagine that being you. So, so that, that's, that's one recurring thing that I had, although I love dinosaurs now. So, but it, if you think about it, what, what changed to make you no longer afraid of what you were afraid? So fear usually comes from lack of knowledge. So I challenge you to overcome whatever fear you have by doing something until the, that butterfly effect in your stomach is gone. It took me five years to ride the, the Superman at Darien Lake, but I can get on it no problem now. An airplane taking off, I have no problem. It's only the turbulence that starts to still give me an issue. So, <laughs> but if you wait until all the lights are green before you head into town, you're gonna be stuck at home forever. That's a quote from Zig Ziglar. So don't be afraid to face your fear just because you're uncertain about what's gonna happen. Because realistically, a lot of the things that you guys face, that the fears that you struggle with right now are probably making phone calls, right? Asking someone if they want to buy something, it's a fear of rejection is more of what it is because you want to be accepted by your peers, you want to be accepted by the people who you're trying to sell to. A lot of people who are brand new, and I, I can vouch for this, I used to sell rainbow vacuum cleaners and when I had to make a phone call to people that I knew 
that was the most difficult thing that I ever did because I was wondering what they would think. Would they think this is stupid? Would they tell me no? That's the last thing I wanted, was my family and friends to tell me no. And a lot of people in the sales industry have fears like that. So it's not uncommon, but I challenge you to do that because as more people tell you no, you'll start to get more comfortable with it. The reason it doesn't bother me is because enough people have told me no to where I don't really care if someone says it, but I know enough people will say yes. Does that make sense? So that's a quote from the movie Coach Carter. And it just happened to fit with, with this presentation. And FDR had a quote, the only thing that we have to fear is fear itself. So don't, don't be afraid to do something. Just go out and do it. Because realistically, there's not any clear and present danger for most of the things that you are afraid of.